Hello and welcome back to Tech It. So, good news. Ah, uh, yeah, I've got the pipes patched. Finally. Uh, so what I actually did is went on to the, um, you know, the Tech It texture pack and took it out of there because it was quite an older one, but, you know, at least it still works. Um, so our flax seeds have been growing. There's a few growing here. These ones didn't want to bone meal for some reason, but these ones did. Um, so basically what you want to do is when these are... Um, grown you just hit them like you do sugar cane and you'll get some string and you'll also get some more flax seeds back um so yeah these have taken you know these ones bone meal straight away but i've not actually been on this really very long considering um just because i generally only play this when i actually record so um i haven't given it much time really uh which is you know fair enough um so once we've got our flax seeds we can combine this with some um, oh, everything just changed. Uh, some paint buckets and paint brushes. Okay, so we're going to need to get some. Um, some we've got some wool on me to make the paint brushes. Make some sticks out of the planks. Uh, we're going to need to grab some tin as well because we're going to use this to make the paint buckets. So we've got tin and we've got silver. We're going to go and combine these together. Not tin, sorry, not silver. Ugh. Tin and iron in the blue electric furnace. We're going to put two iron to one tin. That will give us a tin plate. It'll give us four, so we're going to need to, you know, do the appropriate amount. Oops. We'll do three, and then we'll do six. That should be okay. So we're going to use seven per. Yeah, we'll do another one. We'll let this go as well. Okay, so we've got 16 tin plates, and all you need to do is make it into a U shape. We'll give you the bucket. Make two of those. Two paint cans. Um, just to, on a side note, um, you can use your paint can 16 times until it empties. So just just so you know. Um, so basically, we're going to combine our paint can which, with whatever dyes we want. So. I've got some bone meal that would do, I suppose, for a basic white colour. But I fancy doing blue and blue and yellow. So we've got some dandelion yellow and some lapis. Take the smaller stack. Uh, let's condense this dandelion down. I'll do. And I'm going to do this up here. So. Pretty simple to make the, uh, the paint cans once you've done them. Um, all you're going to do is put your paint can in the top left, then your chosen dye on the right of that, and then two flax seeds below. Oops. Like that. So that's got us a blue paint can, and we're going to change the dent to dandelion yellow, and then two flax seeds, and that'll give us yellow as well. Uh, paint brushes are made by just uh, using a stick and a piece of wool like that and then the wool on the right so we need two of those and then to paint the brush you just put the paint and the the brush next to each other so we've got a blue so that's we've got 15 uses left on that so you could get a lot out of it and then we've got the yellow as well there is a durability also on the paint brushes but it's nothing really you know not not exactly difficult to uh, nothing you have to worry about um, so what I'm going to do is use the blue as the continuous which will run all the way around and then the yellow which will sort down so we're going to sort click on the right um, now I don't really think it matters too much about this bit because it's a bit difficult to get uh, we can try and do it as best as we can So that's all going to be blue, that'll be blue, and then this will be yellow, that'll be yellow, 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 that one can just stay blue because it's got nowhere else to go. Uh, so we've got blue all the way around, just finish off the blue here, and then any more yellow that needs to be done, yeah, a little bit there. Um, so now is the really expensive bit of your sorting machine, you need to have one of every item 
for what you wanted in the chest basically so what you're going to need to do is go upstairs or you know so find different things so basically vanilla items you can make a couple of signs actually we'll put a crafting table down here as well um, so we'll just make this into some planks make some signs oops One, two, and um, so we'll have uh, vanilla, vanilla items, and then here we could have uh, red power. Oops, items. Now we, uh, just so you know, these crystal chests have 108 spaces, uh, which is, what was it 106? I oh, know it's literally like two over the alchemical chest, um, but of course you can't see all the beastly items that are in it. Um, so vanilla items, we're going to literally take one of everything. Um, sorry, not put it in the chest. Wow, derpy moment. Um, so we're going to right click on the sorting machine, and this is your little interface. We're going to change this little method here to this one so basically we're going to change all these to yellow because this is the color it's going to be going down into the inventory chest like that and then this one basically is if there's nothing defined that the sorting machine has been given then it will put it through to the uh, to the blue line which will continue on to the next sorting machine and then so on and so forth um, in regards to sorting so uh, your items will come through it will check if any of the items that are in the sorting machine are in these slots if it's not it will pass through to the blue so on and so forth around the entire machine um, so what we're going to do is put one of each of these in here um, of course this is going to take a lot of time um, so literally one of everything bucket uh, that's not that's not leather stick um, so more important things you, know, you could put in here and then the other less important you can put somewhere else but dyes lapis wool dirt wooden plank and then red power you know you do the same thing so I uh, find anything that's red power, flax seeds, and then we'll sort all these to yellow, change this to send it on to blue if there's nothing to, uh, to be sorted, uh, find some other red power things, uh, paint can, or tin plates, now, I haven't got a lot of red power stuff on me actually, screwdriver, so on and so forth. Uh, this one we could have uh, like industrial craft, so it would be things like uh, marble. Well, you know, we haven't got much stuff, but what I have to do is bring some things down. Um, so basically, everything needs to be included. So dark matter, um, we've got one bit there, like Mobius. Uh, red matter, that's an expensive one. Um, to put in but you still need to do it if you want to get it sorted correctly so red matter goes in this is a bit that takes the longest guys but once you've done it you'll have an awesome system and uh, it'll all be sorting all your stuff and it'll be so much better um, so what I'm actually going to do now is get some pipes rigged up off camera and we can try and sort see this beast in action I'll fill it up off camera and yeah, it should be pretty awesome. So you may find with vanilla items, you know, because there's just so many, you may have to use two sorting machines for it, but um, you could always put two sorting machines into one chest. So yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you learned a bit about the machines and how they work. Hopefully this will help you out to make your own sorting machine. And yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>